Recently, uh, I purchased this Fire Max 11. It's down over here on Prime Day. And uh, there was actually a sale on uh, Galaxy Tab A8. This is from 2021-2022. Some people were asking whether or not which tablet was faster. And I just wanted to provide some uh, specifications that will provide the answer to that possibly. Um, I ran a 3D Mark Wildlife benchmark on this FireMax uh, 11. And so the results were this. A score of 1096 as well as 6.6 .6 frames average frames overall score 6.6 .6 frames whereas I don't own the the Galaxy Tab A8 but it's here on benchmark UL the score here is 714 instead so it's a little lower as well as only four frames per second so you're see you're seeing a difference in terms of graphics wise it's slower you know four frames versus six frames six frames versus four frames uh, the fire max 11 being quicker um, and then uh, I also ran a Geekbench 5 test uh, unfortunately on um, online I was trying to find some Geekbench 6 results they didn't have any they only had Geekbench 5 which is fine uh, over here for the uh, Samsung Tab A 10.5 inch, it has a single thread uh, result of single core uh, score of 386. I think the originally the A7 was low 300s, so they increased it, but not by much. Whereas the Fire Max 11 gives you a single core score of 704, so that's much better. Uh, and this is just CPU processing wise. Um, if you look at multi-core, it has a score of 1,443, whereas the um, FireMax 11 over here has a score of 2,000. So CPU wise, based on Geekbench 5, this tablet, the Fire Max 11, is better than the Galaxy Tab A8. Uh, Graphics-wise, based on based on uh, 3D Mark Wildlife benchmark, uh, it's faster too at 1,096 and 6.6 .6 frames per second versus just 714 and four frames per second. So. Um, I don't have a tab A8 to do the test, but through these benchmarks, it does seem that the Fire Max 11 is faster. Of course, the caveat is you don't uh, inherently have the Play Store installed on this and you have to deal with Fire OS. Um, but I installed the Play Store using Fire Toolbox and uh, I can live with the differences in the OS's. Uh, the biggest gain of this tablet is it has 14 hour battery life and so far I can see that the battery life is pretty good I've been using it for a few hours now and it's only drained 20 30 percent so it's pretty darn good that's it